All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Projects. I'm Psycho again with you today, and as you can see, I am going to be reviewing another Telltale game released in October 2015, and still coming up up to now um, the last part was released on July 11th in 2017 and it is the first part of the second season so I am going to be reviewing the first part of the first season um, so let's just get on let's just get on to it it's well Minecraft and again it's a telltale game so as you can see it features the classic telltale style with point and click and some um, some actions to be done in the meantime um, not much else can be played but you can follow the story um, of Jesse and his pet pick Ruben as they in the first part they enter a building competition actually in which they get defeated every year but this year they have a plan to build something big and scary um, well to build something bigger to try and win um, which is actually the player's choice on what to build. So, I'm not gonna go too far into the story just to not to spoil it too much for you. Um, I'll just say some stuff that you get to the nether, you meet a giant monster, and you get sabotaged during your building competition. Um, so yeah, that's as far as I'll go with the story. Um, but the game features the classic Minecraft style looks um, with a story that has been added to it so the game becomes more more story-like and not just a uh, free play do whatever you want kind of game um, as you can see the graphics have been adapted from Minecraft and are the classic pixel style graphics um, which Minecraft used on their on their own um, so the graphics aren't much to be said about it's uh, it's a classic Minecraft style so the gameplay is pretty smooth and as is known for telltale games it's a point and click game with some actions in between um, so the game focuses pretty much on the story and not not much on the gameplay um, as said as in all of the telltale, telltale games up to now your decisions matter whatever you do in the game will well, in the first part, or in any of the other parts, will have an effect on the other parts. So, um, what you do can change the flow of the whole game and the story, and you can pretty much shape the story as you want it to. That's kind of a specific for Telltale Games. Um, all of this was already um, introduced in the other Telltale Games, like The Walking Dead, The Wolf Among Us, and everything else. So, yeah, as said, it's a classic style Telltale game. So, that's gonna be all from my side for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.